talked about plenty of games launching this month already, but we've got even more. That's right, and talk about variety, I don't think we even have two games that are even in the same genre here. Let's start off with the cutest, most colorful platformer of the month, Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. First off, this game is beautiful. On visuals alone, it delivers with lots of detail and depth. The entire cast of characters, both good and bad, look fantastic in 2.5D, which stylistically is very different from the first game in the series. The overworld is mostly for moving from level to level, however you can explore and unlock more 2D levels by completing objectives and puzzles while you're there. Yuka and Laylee need to thwart Capital B's evil plan of using a hive mind device to enslave the entire bee kingdom. It will be a difficult task considering it leads them to Capital B's impossible lair. But with the help of Queen Phoebe and her royal battalion, the dynamic duo just might save the day. Grid, it's finally here, bringing a racing experience like no other. Every race lets you build your story and cement your name in the world of motorsports. Battle it out in the Grid World Series where you'll be put to the test in thrilling wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles driving some of the most iconic and desirable cars out there. Each race is an absolute rush from the start to the checkered flag. You'll have to stay focused, managing tight overtakes, scraping bumpers, and expertly navigating collisions to give yourself a competitive edge. Teammates, rivalries, and a nemesis driver may try to help or hurt you, but at the end of the day, it's your job to finish first, no excuses. Mega Crit Games took the roguelike genre and card games and smooshed them together, and out came the critically acclaimed Slay the Spire. The game launched in early access back in 2017, but due to its popularity, it will be getting a physical release this month. In this single player deck builder, you'll be in charge of crafting a unique deck that hopefully synergizes well enough to dispatch your foes and reach the top of the spire. Every trip up the spire is different. You can choose safe pathways or riskier ones. You'll face different enemies, select different cards, and you may even encounter bosses that you haven't seen on a previous run. Along the way, you'll discover powerful items known as relics. They can greatly enhance your deck, but be careful out there. Obtaining a relic could possibly cost you more than just gold. One of the most successful indie arcade games to drop this decade, Killer Queen, is finally coming to a console near you this month. For differentiation, Killer Queen Black will be the at-home adaptation of the popular arcade game. Same simple design, Killer Queen Black will be played with directional movement, plus a one-button operation. Now you can win in three different ways. Riding a giant snail into your team's goal, collecting berries till your team's hive is full, or by killing the opposing team's queen three times by either attacks from your team's queen or warriors. The game may seem simple because, well, it is, but don't let the simplicity fool you. The game has a fairly high skill cap and it's incredibly difficult to master. You can play locally with up to four players or take your game online for fun, unranked exhibition matches. There's also a ranked mode online where you can see how you stack up as a solo player or bring your friends and see how you fare as a team. Well, that wraps up our list of October games, but GameStop TV is far from over. We'll be right back after this short break. Hey everyone, thank you for continuing to watch these videos and hanging out with us. If you're liking and subscribing, great. If you haven't, please do so and comment down below because I promise you we'll read them.